2018 has reached its end and we can take a moment to joyfully look back on yet another successful year for the video game industry. Between the exciting announcements that bring a great deal of hope for the coming year and the actual releases that we all got to appreciate this year, being a gamer has never been better. Our collective enthusiasm for this genre of entertainment and, dare I say, art has led us to this point. So maybe just take a moment this holiday season to reflect on all the good things that have happened and all the good things that are to come. Now after you're done reflecting on all the good stuff, you might fall back to thinking about how you haven't bought anyone that you love a gift yet. And then maybe that's gonna go ahead and lead you into thoughts of how you may not have any money to buy any gifts at all. And maybe a little bit of caca is coming out of your bum as you face the reality of having to go to these holiday festivities with nothing in hand. And look, hey buddy, if you did put a bit of caca in your pants, just go to the bathroom right now, look down, clean it up. You got this. It'll be our secret. I won't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone at all that you just pooped your pants because you you were afraid you weren't gonna be able to bring a gift. My goat, I'm Bunty King. You already know who I am and I've got your back, so please, please don't worry. It turns out that there's a ton of holiday deals around and I wanted to kind of highlight the best ones for you. Show you some titles that would bring great value as gifts while keeping it light on the wallet. So let's go ahead and get shooters out of the way because it's one of the genres that I know best and uh, maybe you know someone that needs to clap some people in order to get their rocks off. I love Rainbow Six Siege. It's a game I play regularly and it's one that I don't see myself dropping anytime soon. This this is one of the more thoughtful shooters on the market as it encourages strategic gameplay and bettering your communication skills. Ubisoft is constantly tweaking it and adding content that's easily unlockable with in-game credits that you earn just by playing it. All editions of the game, with the exception of the starter edition, are 70% off on Steam and Uplay, and you can pick up the standard edition for 15 bucks. Another tactical shooter I've invested a lot of time into is Insurgency, and while this game is a little dated, it's still one of the most valuable deals on the platform. At $2, it's an absolute steal, and you can even purchase a 4-pack for $7, so it ups your chances of playing with friends. This is one of the best military shooters on Steam, and a perfect alternative to Counter-Strike. Any shooter aficionado should own Wolfenstein The New Order. This is a balls to the walls kind of shooter that's loaded with plenty of Nazi killing, tons of gore, and an awesome story to top it all off. You should feel bad about them selling this game to you for 8 bucks, you cheap, cheap rat you. Titanfall 2 was a vast improvement over the original that sported a very well paced single player campaign and an insanely fun multiplayer experience. It was overshadowed by the larger titles at launch but there's still a community for this game. You can pick up the ultimate edition for 9 bucks on Origin. I've never played enough of the Metro games in order to fully form an opinion of them, but I've heard nothing but good things from people that love story rich shooter experiences. They take place in a post-apocalyptic Russia and offer a level of realism that you don't really see that often in shooters. If you know someone that's looking for a deep, harrowing experience, then picking up this Metro Redux bundle for 8 bucks is the move. Or maybe you know someone that appreciates character building, rich stories, and games that go beyond the 20 hour mark. Maybe you know one of those uh, Dungeons and Dragons nerds, they would uh, freak out if they got a nice, nice RPG. In that case, I have a few suggestions for you. If the person you're thinking of enjoys turn-based tactical RPGs, this might be the one that they're looking for if they haven't played it already. Divinity Original Sin is loaded with enough content to keep players occupied for over 100 hours. More importantly, people can play this game however they want, so it's got quite a bit to offer in terms of freedom. It's 11 bucks right now, easy purchase. The Witcher 3 Game of the Year Edition is currently 60% off at $28, and that includes the base game and expansions, all of which are quite lengthy and chock full of content. If you have a friend that wants their in-game decisions to matter as they traverse a variety of landscape all while partaking in a deep, multi-layered story, get them this game and they'll love you forever. You could also pick up Dark Souls 3 for $17. It's the easiest game to both pick up and play in the series, but it's still incredibly hard. If you know someone that's looking for a challenge and highly rewarding gameplay, look no further than this game. Okay, but what if they want a role-playing experience that also involves their closest online friend, YOLO Swag Pussy Slayer 69. What if they want to flaunt their superiority over thousands of players at a time by sporting the best equipment, the best gear, all of that online shit? Or maybe they want to gank people who are on a much lower level than they are in order to compensate for the fact that they got pantsed at their first ever frat party and the hottest girl in the room saw their pee pee and said it was small and laughed. Well, if that's the case, then here's some MMO deals that are worth the while. My only experience with Elder Scrolls Online was during the beta back in 2014, but I've heard that they've overhauled it quite a bit and made it a lot more fun to play. The one negative thing I keep hearing is that the game has problems on Steam on a near weekly basis. Otherwise, it's loaded with content and it's currently 50% off. You can cop this for as little as $13 and I've even considered buying it. Maybe you've got a friend that always wanted to be a bounty hunter in space. If that's the case, you can have a look at Elite Dangerous, which is currently $10. It's a space MMO that allows you to pilot your own ship and carve out your own path among the stars, be it a life of glory 
or convenience. It really is as deep as you want it to be. Okay, but maybe they want to take it a step further and they want to exert dominance over nations or even solar systems. Do you know anyone that says shit like, uh, well, uh, you know, if I, uh, if, I was, if I had this army, I would have gone there and I would have done this to so-and-so and, -so and uh, everything would have been okay. I would have had the most perfect society ever. I am clearly the best leader. If that's the case, then consider getting them one of these strategy games. Stellaris is a grand strategy game that allows you to take control of a sprawling space empire. It's got a ton of replayability as it offers offers a great deal of freedom in terms of how you want to actually play the game. If you know someone that's looking for a longer, more layered strategy experience, look no further than Stellaris, which is 75% off all its editions, starting at $11 for the base game. Then you have Homeworld, which is a very well-received real-time strategy game that launched back in 1999 and has since been remastered for newer hardware. It looks well, it plays well, and it's one of the greatest RTS games ever made an easy purchase at $8. Or maybe you know someone that's looking for a more historical experience, at which point Crusader Kings 2 will be the grand strategy game for them. The base game is $11 and it's moddable, which adds a near endless amount of content, including, if they're interested, a Game of Thrones campaign, which I think is uh, is worth the price tag alone. Or maybe this person is the very same person in your life that's always had the Nintendo or the Super Nintendo, and they've always had Mario, and they've always had Metroid. If that's the case, then here's some deals on some solid platformers. Ori and the Blind Forest is an aesthetically pleasing game with a touching tale that's wrapped up in fun, responsive gameplay. You play as Ori, a cute little orphan, on a quest to save a forest. Over the course of the game, you acquire abilities that help with combating enemies and unlocking new areas, as well as revealing secrets in older areas. It's a great game that I beat on the Xbox when it came out. They've since come out with a definitive edition on Steam that you can pick up for $11. And then there's Super Meat Boy, which is one of the best platformers ever made. It's simple, easy to learn, and loaded with content. The story is a humorous take on pretty much every Mario story ever, and it's unapologetically weird. Anyone interested in difficult platformers will find this game to be very rewarding. Super Meat Boy is currently 90% off on Steam, which puts it right under $2. But let's say you know someone that's looking for a very casual, short platforming experience. In that case, have a look at Inside. It's got a few puzzles, a bunch of platforming sequences, and the overall vibe of the game will linger on well after their first playthrough. You can purchase Inside for $10 on Steam. Or maybe this person's a bit of a masochist and, uh, and there's someone that likes having little bits of pain inflicted upon them because they know that pain is like the ultimate knowledge bringer of life. Maybe that person's exactly like me. Here's some roguelikes or roguelites, whatever you want to call them. These are just games that you're gonna die in again and again and again. I've got over 30 hours in Spelunky and I can easily say that it's one of the best roguelites I've ever played. The game is super charming and very difficult, but rewards smart gameplay as most games should. This is the kind of game you can spend anywhere between 10 minutes to a couple of hours on with ease. In Spelunky, you take on the role of an adventurer that delves deeper and deeper into a cave full of treasures in search of a golden skull. Super simple story, pick up and play gameplay, fun with friends, and it's a little over three bucks right now. Another game with a near overwhelming amount of content is Enter the Gungeon, a super cute bullet hell roguelite game that pits you against wave after wave of gun-themed enemies in procedurally generated rooms that increase in difficulty the further you go. If you know someone that's looking for ridiculous boss fights and that just one more game feeling, then gifting this for eight bucks shouldn't be much of an issue. But Bunty, my friend's got a big brain. His head's so fucking big that he's got neck problems and needs to wear a brace. They're so intelligent, Bunty, that simpler games are below them. They need something that's gonna stimulate their high IQ brain. What do I get them, Bunty? If I get them the wrong gift, they're gonna laugh at me in front of everybody. It's okay, here's some puzzle games that they can mentally ejaculate over. I've never actually played this game because my IQ is a little bit too low, but if your friend actually does have a high IQ and is interested in a puzzle game that's gonna keep them occupied for a little while, the Witness is $11 on Steam. Then there's Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, a really fun game where one person disarms a bomb while another person who can't see the bomb has to give instructions on how to disarm it via a manual. It can be played with multiple people simultaneously and also makes for a nerve-wracking VR experience. You can pick up Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes for $5 on Steam. But what if this friend is a rat? Anytime they're around, you gotta be ready for absolutely anything. They're always trying to pull some real sneaky shit. 
Maybe this person is the individual that got your other friend pantsed at the frat party, resulting in this very hot woman laughing at him because of his small pee-pee. If that's the case, then here are some six stealth games that are on sale now. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is easily the best entry into the series in terms of gameplay. Players have a great deal of freedom in choosing how they want to approach missions, be it their approach on ground or their choice of equipment. It's quite literally the ultimate stealth game and any of your rat friends will enjoy it. It's $24 on Steam and given the size of the package, it's well worth it. Splinter Cell Blacklist is another stealth game that would be worth your time if you're looking for a more linear, closed map stealth experience that sends you to various locations around the globe as you uncover a plot to destabilize America. It's a fun stealth game that caters to your playstyle, and at 10 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Stealth Bastard Deluxe is a $2 game that's essentially a stealth platformer. The controls are good, the levels are fun, and there are some cool puzzle mechanics to it as well. I don't know what to tell you, it's $2 and it should be a no-brainer. Look, at the beginning of this video, I insinuated that you may have had a caca in your pants and that this was a bad thing. But I'm not here to kink shame, and, and what if you know someone that likes to regularly put caca in their pants? What if they like putting a lot of caca in their pants? Here's some horror games that they'll most definitely enjoy. I've gotta start with this recommendation because Alien Isolation is one of the best survival horror games I I've ever played. The environments were photorealistic, the fear was palpable, and the gameplay was intense. If you know anyone that appreciates the original Alien film from the 70s, this is the game for them. The collection is $13 on Steam and includes the base game and the DLC. Just buy it. Another fantastic horror experience is Soma, a game that will make you question what it really means to be human. I can't say much about this game without spoiling it beyond the fact that it has you complete some puzzles and avoid creepy AI cyber monsters. But if you know anyone that's looking for a more story-rich horror experience with a philosophical edge to it, Soma is the $5 shoe that fits. Let me ask you a question. What do you get when you pair up a dude that can't fight for his life, give him an HD camera and throw him into some backwoods cult group in the midst of some kind of f***ed up civil war? You get Outlast 2, which for $8 will make any horror fan happy. Trust me. Okay, look, so that's about all I got for you right now. There's definitely more that I could have actually talked about, but uh, we're in a bit of a time limit here. I know you don't have all day. Regardless, uh, I genuinely hope that you got at least one good gift recommendation out of this and that you made someone, anyone, even yourself, a little bit happier. I'd like to send a big thanks to my followers on Twitter for helping with some of the recommendations. If you really enjoyed watching this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And of course, sub if you haven't subbed already. And if you don't want to miss a video, make sure to hit the bell icon to, to stay notified all the time. If you want to support me on a regular basis, go ahead and drop by one of my Twitch streams and then maybe throw me a sub. You get to catch me live, we get to talk some shit, and it's usually a good time. And look, uh, have yourself a happy holidays and a happy new year if I don't see you before then. And remember to always take it easy and just be chill. Just be chill. I love you. See you soon. Bye.